Let us look through. I, I want to look at some more of these models. So I'm going to look at this reference. The Skipjack really is kind of an interesting looking boat. So I'm about to go into some ship hydrodynamics here. So this is the ideal shape for like a cylindrical object moving through the water. This shape, although it's easier to have stuff on the inside because it's like a uniform diameter, this creates more drag than this kind of shape. But this kind of shape, it's harder to put stuff inside the boat. I plan to make a series at some point called So You Want to Build a Submarine? And it's going to go through like all kinds of stuff like drag and shape and propulsion and everything like that. Should be pretty cool. I haven't started any work on that, but it's something I want to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, yeah, they got the, uh, the retrofitted, retrofitted toad. Early versions before they had the toad. It was the clip-on. The early, when did the clip-on toads start coming around? Because first the skipjacks, they, or the sturgeons had clip-on toads at one point before they got the, uh, this janky ass thing. <clears throat> Need help with the modeling in terms of the build your own submarine thing? Uh, potentially, oh, a typhoon, potentially, um. I guess I was just going to kind of draw it, but yeah, I mean, it could potentially be modeled out, yeah. This is interesting that the Typhoon has these, what I assume are to prevent roll, these stabilizers here. Or it might be some kind of way to condition the water that's going into that vent, I'm not sure. It's interesting. <clears throat> snoop tray, what the hell is a snoop tray? <laughs> snoop tray radar. Why do all the Russian sonars have like this, like, that, like, metal plate looking type covers on their cylindrical sonars? I don't know. They all have it. I'm surprised. I didn't even know the Typhoon had that. And I, I always, from what I've seen of Typhoons, this red down here is a much brighter red. And what are these back here? Is there no way to zoom in further? No. That's a big sun. I wish you could put them next to each other. The LA is like so puny next to this thing. It's huge. Delta 4, Delta 3. Oh god, that goddamn Juliet again. Tango. This is much nicer looking than Reinforce Alert's Tango with its three propeller blades. <laughs> Whiskey on the rocks, boy. These things are still in service into the 80s. These goddamn things from the 50s. Ooh, big surface ships. Kirov. I like how the radars even rotate in here. That's interesting. And the flag kind of flaps in the wind. Hello, Thomas Toma. Just uh, looking at a uh, spare loft. So this is like a battleship, almost. <laughs> well, not really, but you know, it's like it's a, it's a rather old design. Uh, Moskva, da. God, these are some weird looking boats, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know if they're really weird looking or just like just. Just so not used to these types of boats from American naval doctrine. This thing is just meant for this thing is just a mobile ASW platform, just meant to protect like Murmansk and all that stuff in time of war. Protect fleets supporting Soviet ground troops and stuff. Wait. Is this what all the Oodaloids look like? This this hull form looks weird for some reason. I guess so. Maybe it's because I'm seeing what's beneath the water line as well. <laughs> yeah, for me, Moskva is death. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think of, like, the big-ass Soviet boats with their double-hulledness. 
like how many how many torps they should actually take i don't know i feel like it shouldn't be more than two mark 48s the mark 48 is such a huge torpedo you'll find a lot of the soviet ships are much more defensive minded a lot more a lot more supportive in nature because the navy the soviet navy fleet was not meant to project power like the american fleet the soviet navy was meant to to support Soviet ground operations in Western Europe in the case of a move on NATO, or if NATO were to invade the uh, the Warsaw Pact. Alright, I think we can uh, get started here. I just want to try and go through some of this some more. Kashin, Canyon, Kotlin. There's a lot of things that start with K. I don't know if that's like on purpose. Riga. Oh, there's a little Grisha 3. Poti. Rapucha. What is, what is on that Leninsky Komsomol? Just a bunch of cranes. That's a lot of cranes. There's like some BTRs and some deuce and a half. All these cargo sh Oh, there's actually a fishing trawler. I haven't seen any trawlers yet. Blue whale. Whoa, hello. <laughs> okay, interesting. Oh, they got the airplanes too. Hello. And torpedoes. There's a bear. Mark 16, 37, 48. Moss, harpoon. Okay, I think that torpedo I was evading last time was definitely a test. This looks like that. It has contra rotating propellers. Hey, you're very welcome, Bjorn. <laughs> now to Rustin Murmansk. It was. So the Russian Navy kind of did like a thing where like you got like a failing company and it gets taken over by like a new executive. They kind of like trim the fat, get rid of all the old stuff and start pumping out new stuff because that's pretty much what the Soviet... No, this, that was like a Freudian slip. That's like what the Russian Navy's doing right now. <clears throat> yeah, the hordes of submarines... The hordes of them. Set 65, U set, Silex. Haven't seen any of these bad boys yet. I think these are stallions. Yeah. Haven't seen any stallions yet. Which is good. <laughs> okay, and we're we're back here. Alrighty, let's get started. <clears throat> it could very well be nice definitely but I mean in dangerous waters the graphics are bad but they're not necessarily the focal point as much as they are in cold waters let us uh I'm just gonna go ahead and load the auto save that just seems to be this I don't remember what I named my save files I think that one might be the most recent one but we'll go with the auto save here I I don't remember where I left off I think I just sunk that little group Oh shit, I think these guys are coming for... Okay, yeah, they just ran right into me, but we're... Ooh, so we're right off the bat into some battle here. Ah. Yes. I don't know if all the tubes are reloaded yet or anything. Our depth is 50 feet. Okay, well, we're at periscope depth, so make use of it. Make me a sandwich. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, FPS Chasley, or something like that, and here we are playing ESM Single Strength 6, very well. I wonder what, okay, we want to look to the south. Those were blue, what does that mean? Does that mean radar? Radar sweeps? I'm not seeing anything. <clears throat> okay, probably going to lower this then. Yeah. Conditions. We've got a strong duct. Very well. I don't think we've. Oh, hello. I don't think we've picked anything up. Oh, Sierra One. I think is that on a an ESM type track? Where? Of course. Not sure. Let's uh. Let's get beneath this layer here. And kind of uh move towards these fools. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to stream whenever I get a chance to, because I'm enjoying this game thoroughly. Um, today's Friday, so that's why I'm streaming today. Other days, if it's like a, a weeknight, I'm less inclined to do it spontaneously. But uh, today's Friday, so I'll be streaming today. But uh, the rest of this weekend, I'm going to be like packing. So maybe I don't want to go beneath the layer. Let's, uh, here, stop. Let's not go beneath the layer. Let's go all ahead two thirds. Let's kind of turn about due south. Well, let's let's continue on this base course here. Lost Echo Two. Well, why would Echo Two fade? Echo means it's an ESM contact. <clears throat> Install a patch for DW. What do you mean, Cool Kirk? It comes patched. You mean like reinforce alert? <clears throat> oh, the ambient noise is rather low here. Ooh, ooh, 84 decibel. It was like 100 in the last mission. Okay, well, we can at least try and classify. So, no, let's try and slow to one third and see if we can't get a better narrow band breakdown on this dude. I'm only seeing two frequencies right now. See, running under the layer is such a double edged sword because. They can't hear you, but you could potentially come up too close and run into someone. Okay, so we got three frequencies here. Someone did mention this was a bug. That uh, you can't click on this anymore, you can only use the keys. And I'm experiencing the bug, I cannot click on it like I like to do, I have to use the keys here. My keyboard's kind of loud. Oodaloy, hello. Oh god, what, does anyone know what the hotkey is to confirm a classification because I can't click on it right now? Oh, that patch? All you have to do is just put that in the, uh... Just have to put it in the Dangerous Waters directory, it's not that bad. Dangerous Waters has not been patched since like 2006. <laughs> uh, that, that software is dead in Sonalist size. Uh, I don't want to press enter for fear of that doing something I don't want it to do. But what is the key to confirm a solution? Because <laughs> I'm even seeing like that fifth frequency there in a little bit. click the middle. No, you can't click anymore. It's a bug in this version. You can't click. Is there a key to confirm? I'm going to do enter. Okay, enter works. I figured enter would work. Uh, yeah, Sonalus. Uh, so apparently the guy that was like the head of Sonalus or like a high up at Sonalus liked video games a lot, but then he uh, apparently passed away uh, a few years ago. So no one else at the company really wanted to continue that because I don't think they were making any money on it. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this yet, your contacts now keep a, like a Sierra mark in front of them so you can differentiate who is who, which is nice. Okay, so he can't hear me right now, so I'm going to two-thirds. Oh, I forget his name right now, but some other YouTuber just came out with a great how to be stealthy video today on Cold Waters. It's pretty good. Got to keep these in mind. So right now this Oodaloy can't hear me for crap. And that, that might be because his toad is dipped beneath the layer. But we're going at two-thirds and he can't hear us for anything. Where about? What about Helos? Okay, this Helo doesn't seem to be anywhere near me. But yeah, it's... Okay, so he's pinging. So we're going to try and come directly a beam of him. That'll boost his gain on the active a little bit. But I really want to get some of that lag bearing right here. I do like how they, they denote the layer with bubbles like in Tom Clancy SSN. So his course is 291, so we want to be at 111. Yeah, so even that out. Not Jive Turkey, someone else. He's a Spaniard. His username starts with R or something like that. Um, yeah, I, you don't necessarily need to get sub-command. You can play those campaigns in Dangerous Waters. Although, the balancing is kind of, isn't the same. But I'm, I'm currently working on doing, like, a full overhaul of one of those campaigns for Dangerous Waters. 
So this, this oh, contact faded. That is interesting. I'm not beneath the layer. Maybe he slowed. Went slow as well. Ah, what was that last range? That last range was about, eh. Oh, hello. Echo 2 reacquired. How do you get an echo? Oodaloy reacquired. Okay, let's go back to two thirds here then. Oodaloy. Hello, Grass Coke. Your avatar looks like someone from Dragon Ball Z. I, I mean, I can't tell for certain, but that's what my that's what my instinct said. <laughs> someone from Dragon Ball Z. I'm gonna come right a little bit. Try and head it like a 45 degree angle towards these fools. Oh, sub command can get glitchy. I've seen an Akula just kind of fly out of the water at like 10 knots, just ever so gracefully. It was pretty funny looking. Hello, Hex 2, Red 1, Alpha. Who's Enter Elysium? That sounds familiar, but maybe because Elysium is like a movie or something. I turned a little a little further than I wanted to, but here is about good. What have I been doing this whole time? I've pretty much been on like the constant course the whole time. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, Udaloy. I, there's like a check mark here. I don't know what this check mark signifies. I noticed this earlier. Oh, let me get these torps kind of set up for surface contacts. There could potentially be a, submer a submerged contact here, but I don't know. Might be worth checking beneath the layer. That Udaloy track is pretty weak. 12 miles away. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You just gotta learn. I I could do. Oh, hello, James. I could do longer videos, but I don't want to. Like, I know there's like a small percentage of people that can just eat videos like all day long, but I know most people aren't like that. So I don't want you guys to feel like you're missing stuff. So I keep my videos. Uh, I keep my videos trying. I try and keep them. You know, last week was release week, so I did a video every day. But now I'm going back to like three days a week, about an hour a day. I think that's about I think that's reasonable for people. I don't want to like overwhelm people so they feel like they have to triage some of my footage or something. I want them to be able to see it all if they want to. You're printing my videos out in binary. <laughs> that yellow blob is supposed to be like a smiley. I don't know why YouTube went with it. They look like freaking choo choos from Legend of Zelda. I'm going to go beneath the layer. I just want to see if there's potentially anyone down there. I just want to see if anyone is down there. Because these guys are... He may have turned around as to why that solution's not doing... That was loud. It's because I'm right on him. Okay. Master 2. Oh, I could be classifying Master 2. Am I beneath the layer yet? Yeah, just commit to it going down here real quick try and pick up on something <clears throat> this game's getting updated all the time the developers are amazing I am in constant contact with Jewel Helm, their lead art guy they're very responsive, great developers Uh, Jewel Helm used to hang out on the stream. I haven't seen him on the stream in a while. But, uh, maybe he'll be around. Maybe I should bug his ass and see if he'll come in here. Then you guys can talk to him. The emoticons are caused by a reactor leak. <laughs> uh, that was like hashtag too real. I don't think there's anyone down here. But uh, we can take a listen. It doesn't seem like there's anyone down here. We're just going to come hard right. Nope, you don't know where the layers are ahead of time. You have to find that out in situ, which means in place. You have to find that out on the fly. 
with I guess you could probably do it through sounding, but I think you got to do it with XBT probes. Because I think in dangerous waters it does it real time. What the hell is that? What the hell is that little poop shoot? What is that? Is that a bilge pump or something? What is that? That is weird looking. I don't know what that is. I'm confused and kind of scared. Let's, uh, I'm gonna stay down here and try and get closer to these fools, is what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go ahead standard and try and gain some distance. <laughs> I'm Alan from Two and a Half Men. Okay, yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> Oh, is it the Noisemaker place? Okay, that seems really far back there. I would feel like Noisemakers come somewhere further up that isn't engineering spaces. But who am I to say? I don't know. XBT, I think that stands for Launch Bathiotherm Probe. So this is my second beer and I'm feeling it pretty good. Where are these fools at? So all ahead standard in a permit is 17 knots. That's interesting. I'm used to it being about 15 knots. I don't want to necessarily get too overzealous here. Where's this helo at? I don't think anyone has any idea that I'm here. Started this match at five knots. Yeah, we're good. We are good to just kind of come up on these bastards. Xeno backside thermometer. Uh. Well, those were back in the aft tubes were back in the days before you had wire guiding. If you don't need if you, if you have wire guiding, I guess it's probably because if you're like shooting a torpedo forward, to have it come back around would involve too much error in like the internal measurements of the torpedo. But if you're wire guided, it's not a big deal. And that's that's main. I don't know. That would just be my assumption, and just the fact that. I mean, with with this kind of boat, where are you going to put like the rear torpedoes? They they focused more on, on optimizing the hydrodynamics of it, I think. Uh, yes, indeedy. <laughs> Didn't mean anything by that, but yes, rest in peace, Scorpion, Skipjack. It was on its way back to port to get sub safe. That's a damn shame. It was on its way back to become sub safe. <clears throat> Why will the bottom... Okay, don't spoil it for me, that guy. I guess I'll check it out eventually. Let us... I guess potentially come back topside here. We're getting pretty close. We're getting about 10 miles out. So let's uh, slow to two thirds and let's ascend. <clears throat> I mean, a, a diesel sub could still use sub safe. It could still be benefited from sub safe. It just wouldn't have a nuclear reactor. But I, it's definitely an interesting argument. I think the US Navy would probably benefit from having some diesel subs. The only issue is like the transit time because they they pretty much have to be like coastal boats and that's pretty much the main reason i think the u.s doesn't have diesel boats because they're mostly viewed as a uh, a defensive type thing mm. and the u.s is just so far from everyone that only countries with nuclear nuclear subs can get here and that's basically like russia and china <laughs> excuse me I did see an interview on Foxtrot Alpha, though, with an ex-submariner who's who was of the opinion that the U.S. should have diesel boats. I mean, since we have like such an imperial like footprint on the world, they could easily just like go straight to Spain and refuel, and then like continue on somewhere else. All right, Master Two. I guess I need to reacquire these dudes. They seem to be like moving away. What Oodaloid thirty-two knots. Course three hundred eight coming this way. Okay, I'm coming coming left. Going to come across, get a get a nice lag situation here. 
So lead lag, does anyone want me to explain lead lag on the fly? Because lead lag can be, can, it took me a little bit to, un to understand what the lead lag meant. I can definitely explain that on the fly. <clears throat> All right, Jan. Oh, hello. Oh, I um, slow down. Slow down. He's getting close to ten there on that passive. All right. I mean, we're 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 just about fine. But okay, so he's uh, we got a good solution on him. All right. So lead lag. So to determine lead lag first, draw a line from you to the contact. And this is your this is like your this is like your bearing of reference. Okay. So we got a line from you to the contact. So the Udaloy is pointing this way. In relation to this line I am pointing this way in relation to this line so this is lag we are pointing on opposite sides of this line here if I were to come right here we would both be pointing to the same side of this line and that's a lead situation so that that's your difference there between lead lag uh, a lag situation gives you a higher bearing rate but coming back to lead it just helps you narrow down your solution it reduces the number of possible solutions <clears throat> Uh, Master 2, I want to classify this dude. Oh, 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 Just pick a direction and... Pick a direction, any direction. Step on up, everyone's a winner here tonight. Pick a direction, any direction. Cresta! Bonk. Do they have that difficulty sound? I'm ass I'm assuming a, a a sub diesel would still have a different sound profile than a than a freaking uh, merchantman diesel. Here's your demon. Well, okay, so narrow band exists because of demon. Demon gives you narrow bands. So we do have a narrow band display. Uh, ooh, the Udaloy solution. Okay, the Udaloy solution is still primo. He's not really in a position to be launched upon right now. Stores. I have two harpoons. I launched three torpedoes in that last mission to sink some ships. That is true. Cresta. Cresta solution needs some work. He is kind of far away. Uh, maybe I should kind of go under the lair and kind of go this way here. Did that make sense, Bjorn? Do you want me to check that out again? Uh, I stock harpoons because, you know, you never know. It's just two of them. If something's getting away, I could potentially loft some harpoons and try and get a kill on it real quick. If I've lost the tactical advantage. Do the, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll have to check that out at some point. Okay, so Red October, Crimson Tide, and Down Periscope. Red October is what everyone imagines submarines are like. Down Periscope is how submarines actually are. And Crimson Tide is just Michael Bay for Hollywood, basically. Like Michael Bay's submarine, basically. <laughs> Alright, how's that Oodaloy looking? Okay, let's go back up to two thirds here. I want to see how this will affect. The sound profiles. It was really saying it was ra he was rather he he was hearing me rather well earlier, but he's not really hearing. Well, he's going faster now, so he's not really hearing me that much. So we're good at this speed. We could even go standard if we wanted to, but I am going to come more this way, more like due south. Moss is pretty good. I like moss a lot. Shoots a ball of moss into the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Cheyenne, are you in here? I don't know if you have a different name on YouTube or not. 
Oh yeah, the goddamn toad array. <laughs> Where's uh, Emperor Spraz? He's probably out being social instead of watching me play a video game right now. How's that Cresta solution coming? It's still looking kind of... Let's go to Periscope Depth. Let us go to Periscope Depth. I'm going to slow down to one-third here. Zeals. Hello. Mr. Versetti. Hey, Tommy Versetti. Hello. There is no broadband screen in this game. Oh, hello. There's your little oodaloy right there. Little oodaloy. There's your oodaloy right there. Dude, I love Vice City, man. Vice City is the best Grand Theft Auto, in my opinion. So good. Alright, we still need a little up. We still need a little positive buoyancy here. Give me a little more positive buoyancy. I want to see if I can't see that big Bertha Cresta in the. I'm starting to lose the tactical advantage. I might have to get under the layer and kind of speed it up here. <clears throat> I, I, I still need to play GTA 3. Vice City was my first GTA, so I still need to play some, some GTA 3 there. I have played a little GTA 3, and I love how every car you like drive by shoot just starts accelerating. That's so much fun. I can just spend hours doing that and watching AI derp out, speeding around. All right, let's get this. Ooh. Okay, I'm at one. Th okay, I thought I was going faster than one third. I freaked out for a second, but no, we're good. Okay, we want to look. Yeah, right around this way. Hello. If there is a Cresta, there's some kind of fog going on. I can't see him for hell. I don't see anything else. I think it's just these two dudes, but I've, I'm starting to quickly lose the tactical advantage here. They are uh, maneuvering, so I'm gonna have to come. I have to come east at a, at a pretty good clip here. Oh, did I all stop? Okay, keep going, keep driving. <laughs> Let's uh, not full dive, but we'll get we'll get down like this, fifteen ten. Uh, they are maneuvering, or the the Oodalo is maneuvering at least. That is interesting. Maybe I should stay up here for a second and just see. Okay, Oodalo is maneuvering pretty well. Okay, let's uh, let's get a little deeper, but I'm gonna stay above the layer here for a second. Uh, using a laser to range find should technically to technically be counter detectable, but it does not model as counter detectable in this game. One question, Roland Herrera. Yeah, this game is fun. This game's a lot of fun. U-Boat? Is that like the uh, Wolfpack game or whatever? Uh, let's go to two-thirds. Getting close to that oodle. Okay, he maneuvered a little bit, but then kind of returned to a base course there. They're going pretty quick. Uh, ooh, that Cresta seems to be further away. 86% on that solution, that's pretty far. <clears throat> well, think about it like this. If you look at a laser, if someone's pointing it kind of near you, but not really near you, you can still see some light bleeding off of it. Um, it's not hard to imagine that you could even detect that little bit. A laser is not a perfect beam. There is some parasitic loss at other angles. Yeah, subsims have come a long way. Uh, they're working on a mission editor, I believe. Beer number two done. And I'm feeling tipsy. <laughs> and my crew is like, uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, uh, Cresta. 95% solution on Cresta, so the Oodaloy is like almost putting himself between me and the Cresta. Alrighty. They're both going at about 20 knots. Okay, the Oodaloy is going at 16, Cresta is going at 20 knots.
Am I looking at the Cresta right? Oh, okay, I was looking at the Cresta. This is the Oodaloy, and this is the Cresta. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Is what laser guided or active radar guided? A missile? All right, we got to, uh, okay, we got to do some maneuvering here. Uh, this guy is turning a little bit. I'm glad it's daylight. We can actually see things. Dude. Okay, so, like, hands down, the water in this game is, like, the best water I've ever seen. This water is so amazing looking. It's so incredible looking. That wake, that bow wave is not as good looking. But that's fine. The rest of the water is so amazing looking. It looks so good. Like, I used to think Arma had pretty good, Arma 3 had pretty good water, but this water is amazing. So we need to get beneath the layer. We need to get beneath the layer here. And, uh, gain some speed on these dudes. Okay, that's getting close to being potentially detected on the active or the passive for that Oodaloy. We're not getting any toad signal strength on him, which makes me think his toad is beneath the layer. So if I go down here, he's going to hear me. I don't know. Those just dropped off crazy because we went underneath the layer, but his toad is still zero. So I guess he has no toad deployed right now. I didn't know that was like an option for them. I thought it would like always be de deployed. So we can level out and we can go to standard. <clears throat> See you later, Grass Coke. Thanks for stopping by. I almost want to go to full. I almost want to go to full. Uh, let's go to full and see what happens. No, no cavitating, so we're staying at full. We lost track on both our contacts, so they can't hear us for anything right now. Let's come right a little bit. I would hate for a certain helicopter to see my butt. I'm going to be a little cheaty. Wait, where are these surface ships in relation to this hel- I don't even see the surface ships from this helicopter. I don't even know where the hell this helicopter is. That's fine. Does I thought the Seawolf had a traditional periscope. I know the New Virginias have photonic mass, which is a weird name because a periscope is still kind of like a photonic mass. It still, like, you know, receives photons, but, like... The, the, the Virginians have, like, a camera, basically. It would be cool if it kind of... I guess that would be misleading, but if it kind of... If the old solutions even faded out, and you were able to, like, see what they would be doing if you were still holding the contact, even that would be kind of helpful. Okay, so our full is 22 knots. <clears throat> Yeah, but the Vir the Virginia actually works, though. <laughs> that would make my friend upset. No, I mean, the Virginia is just a, is basically just like a Seawolf made in modern day. So like, it's just cheaper because of the advancement of tech. Or yeah, it's just it's just cheaper because of the advancement of technology. But it's pretty much a Seawolf, but just modern day. I don't know if I would call it a fiber optic mass because fiber optic is just like the media through which the signal is transmitted. I'm more, I'm more like the, what the actual sensor is. Yeah, HY100. So, okay, so a little lesson in stress and materials here. I'm convinced the Seawolf has incremental deep diving performance over the LA because the Seawolf beam is 40 versus the LA's 33. And as you increase beam, the stress on the boat increases. So I did a rough calculation. A beam of 40 feet versus a beam of 33 feet is an increase of about 20 to 25%.
and HY80 to HY100 steel is an increase of about 25% in yield strength. So I'm convinced the Seawolf dives maybe just a little deeper than in LA, but not too much. I think the HY80 is only making up for the fact that the beam is 40 feet on a Seawolf boat. So I don't think a I don't think a Seawolf dives much deeper than in LA or Virginia. <clears throat> well, F-22 and F-35 serve different roles. It's not really a fair, not really a fair comparison. Emperor Spraz, hello. People have been looking for you, including myself. <laughs> you can't classify physics, you bastards. That's a, that's a direct quote from Tom Clancy. All right, uh, we shouldn't maintain this transit for too long, so I'm going to slow down. And we are going to come shallow. So we're getting pings from the Udaloi from about this bearing, so I'm going to come left a little bit to reduce my signature just a mite. And let's uh, come up a little bit. Ooh, reestablished. Okay, so we the shadow zone may no longer exist. Shadow zone may no longer... Oh, that's interesting that that deep we weren't seeing them, but closer to the layer we're picking them up very weakly. That is very interesting. It will be nice to engage these guys at the same time, but I'm not sure if it's going to be possible if that Cresta is that far away. <clears throat> Alright, so we are up here. Uh, the layer is at 233, and my keel is at 200, so let's even out. We are reestablishing our contact with the Udaloi. His speed is 20 knots, so we haven't really gained any ground. We're still kind of losing the tactical advantage here. Sonic the Hedgehog, I'm not sure how much you should be saying. <laughs> F-22 is air superiority for fighter, is it not? It's not really fair to compare the F-35 to it. I mean, is the F-35 in the Navy role supposed to be an air superiority fighter? <clears throat> Maybe we should get a little shallow here. I mean, this solution... Why are they going so fast? <laughs> I, I guess I messed up my tactical... Well, they, they kind of came up on me at the beginning of this mission here. Hello, Wombology. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. No one's going to be able to do anything with that IP address. 16 knots. 22 knots under the layer, we're gaining still a little ground. So 14 kilo yards, 7 miles. That's a little too far for Torps. He's going to outrun that. I can launch Torps under the layer, and he will not hear them. He will not hear Torps if they are launched under the layer. And we might be able to get a hit that way, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to launch Torps under the layer, this Udaloi. The only question is if I should launch one or two. Oh, first, before I get under the layer, I want to give these... I guess I can't give these torpedoes waypoints on the fly, so let's just get down there. And we can get these torps off to run under the layer at this Udaloi. And hopefully, we can catch them by surprise and get us get ourselves a hit. <clears throat> he will not hear the torps under the layer. And we are now down here. And just about to lose contact on these bad boys. Unless we're so close that the Shadow Zone no longer exists. I don't think we are. Yeah, we're down here. Okay, let's get, uh... Slow down. Let's come turn a little bit. Two, one. Close. <clears throat> Uh, 
The firing has begun, ladies and germs. The firing has started. Cover fire six, hello. Yeah, the Udaloy should be having a toad out, but it doesn't look like he does. It's reading zero, which means he has it stowed. <clears throat> yes, I could have used a passive, but I guess this wire will probably snap at some point. Oh, I don't want to be turning anymore. Stop turning. Come back the other way. Uh, go two-thirds. <clears throat> oh, he seems to be maneuvering. Maybe he has heard the torpedo. We still have our wire. Uh, give me this. Put this, like, here. Oh, our, we ourselves can go above the layer now. We can do that. Let's do that. Let's go above the layer so we can at least hear him. Oh, he seems to be maneuvering like a mofo. I think I've sunk, like, two Udaloys. <laughs> maybe one. Maybe two. I think at least one. A Kanevalov. <laughs> Uh, we're going against two surface ships in some kind of loose patrol type formation. And this needs to be moved a little bit. Alright, uh, we are almost above this layer, not just quite. Alright, level. We still have this wire. That is nice. And we still have this wire. Where is this? I need to see where this Udaloy is. I'm going to move this enable point a little further back still even. To right here. <clears throat> yeah, it's about two kilo yards ahead of him. And that seems to be about where he is. I'm getting bearings on that. So that seems to be pretty good. Right about there. Niet Marquis. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, hello. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, e. Uh, no, that, that's about that's what that's what I want to do. That that's fine though. <clears throat> so our bad boy is gonna go active here in just a few seconds. Torps in search mode go faster. Faster. Ooh. Hello. Getting above the layer. And we got a lock. Yeah, boy. Marquise is your wife's cat. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh, God. Yevo. Uh, Yela. I forget what, like, her is in Russian. Shit. Yeyo. Ooh, Yeyo. Kot. Oh, Udaloy. I apologize, but there you go. Pow. <clears throat> Surprise! <laughs> Alrighty, we have a Cresta left. We have ourselves a Cresta. Two thirds. No, not standard. I guess we could do standard. No, don't do this. No, we're not doing standard. We're gonna cavitate standard. Cresta! Let us come. Well, I'm not sure which way the Cresta is going. Let's stay due east, actually. <clears throat> Hello, Alexander. Your avatar is very interesting. <laughs> oh, cool, Kirk. Don't tempt me. But, Captain, the torpedoes are armed in the tubes. Do it now. Gif that? Gif what? Me making that face. <laughs> Greetings from Mother Russia. Strast for you, Tavaris Capitan. I don't know what this crest is doing. 
We have a we may be able to see him on the periscope. Let's get shallow. Let's try and get up to periscope depth here. <clears throat> Played knife fights with who? Red One Alpha? <laughs> uh, Pajalsta. <laughs> Shazly. <laughs> it, should, it should be a Chazly. It should be a Ch. Ch. Alright, well, I guess we don't want to even out just yet. I want to see this Cresta. Now that Udaloy is going down. Durham. Jeez. The Sovereign. Like the Queen in England. The Sovereign. Admiral. Oh, the Blue Book. What's the difference between the Blue Book and the Red Book? I've seen the Red Book. Alright, let's get this. Uh, I want to get a little shower. <clears throat> Don't worry. Uh, Marquis. It's, uh, it's my fault. The way I, I the C should have been capitalized, but I made it lowercase. <clears throat> a lot of people say, or sp at least type out Shazley. So what do we want? Two two zero. I guess that's about here. Oh hello, man! He is bearing down on my ass. That ranging, that ranging accurate. He is bearing down on my ass. Okay, lower that. Let's uh, get a little shallow here. Or not shallow, deeper. What am I doing? One third, one third, two, th not one third. I don't want to cavitate. Oh, I'm, okay, yes. I'm, yep, yep, okay, we're good. I don't know what that was. I was like kind of freaking out for a second there, but we're good. Uh, yes, these two tubes. He is barren on my ass. <laughs> Load deck gun. <laughs> uh, so this Cresta wants to scrub. Maybe we should give him the old one-two skittle my do underneath the layer here. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I kind of want to head due south at this point. Let's come hard right. I don't want to go underneath the layer yet. So let's come due south. Come left, of course. One, eight, zero. How am I? Oh god. <laughs> uh jeez. World War Two subs in modern day. I mean if you're gonna go fight like pirates, I guess you could mount like a nice deck gun on this or something. Captain, we've just been overflown by a low flying multi engine turbo prop. Put it on view. <laughs> I don't know why I imitate the plane. <clears throat> yes, the uncomplete Silent Hunter 4 is uh, incomplete for a reason. Hello, David King. I Modern subs is my forte. I enjoy modern subs. I don't want to get too political here and piss off people, but World War II subs are like temporarily diving surface ships. These are subs. <laughs> I want to get a better solution on this Cresta. Maybe I should be directly a beam of him. So let's come left a little bit more. My foot itches. Offended. Offended. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> That Cresta, yeah, she's bearing down our ass. I'm trying to get some higher bearing rate. Firm up a solution. She's getting close. I think we should just fire now. She's within 10 kilo yards. We need to fire now. So let's come to bear. And let's get some torps out on her butt. Yeah, it's not like U-571 where they fire unguided torpedoes against another submerged boat and actually sink it. 
even though I do enjoy U571. I guess it's like a childhood guilty pleasure. I do have rockets, but there's a helicopter, so I don't want to get pwned. Alright, so we are presently reducing our active signature. All amidship. Let's aim for about here. Los! And the Cresta is a... It's a bigger boat, I think. So I may want to... Uh, may want to launch two torps. I can't even see her right now. Uh, yeah, we'll do two torps. Los! I don't know why I always say Los, but I just do. <clears throat> and I kind of want to go beneath the layer, but no, I want to make sure that I am seeing her throughout this process. Maybe I should go to periscope depth. The pings are still kind of in the same vicinity. There is that hulk on the bottom. I hope the tor I think the torpedoes are enabling close enough to it that they shouldn't be an issue. Traditionally landlocked? There's nothing traditional about it. Russia is still landlocked. <laughs> There's a great... I don't know if any of you guys subs are subscribed to... Uh, shit, what the hell's his name? Sorry, excuse me. Oh, slow down. What is his name on YouTube? Okay, yeah, it looks like we got a lock here on, on tube two. Looks like we got ourselves a lock. And we might be able to see it in the scope. He just launched a noisemaker. Raise that scope. Uh, tube 3 has a lock. Very well. Harasho. Uh, come right here on the scope. Oh, that's a big, big one. Tube 2 is about to get a hit. Oh, one torpedo was sufficient. But we'll give it a... Uh, this is my last dance. Oh, he, he was spooling up a helo. I like how it's still just sitting there. Alrighty. And that last one's about to hit right now. Whoa, that, <laughs> that one had some base to it. Alright, lower that. Uh, okay, let's uh dive here. Oh, man. <clears throat> I can see, rel oh yeah, the relative depth to target, yeah. How do I rate the Soviet Navy of the 80s? Well, the 80s was of the, was of the 80s is of the post-Walker time. The Victor III is the first Soviet nuclear boat to be truly formidable. Uh, and then Akula even increases that further. And that is all thanks to a Mr. Walker a traitor of the United States. Aircraft nearby. But we are going to get underneath the layer and boogie. Boogie nights. Good explosions today. Indeed. Do I see any helicopters hovering in the immediate vicinity? I do not. So let's uh let's turn the hell around and just leave the way we came. Does anyone know test depth for the permit? I think it's around like 1200 feet or something like that. Do they disengage below 501 feet? Me being below 501 feet or the helo is being below 501 feet? <laughs> Test depth is periscope depth. What, <laughs> dude? The per the permit has a greater test depth than the LA. Uh, the heli should technically get out of the area, but I think it does stay around. That is a very brutal permit. That's a very brutal thresher joke. Hey, Kyle. What's up, Kyle? I need to give you, like, hang on. I need to give you some kind of status. Okay. 
Kyle, you're now a moderator. With great pro with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Yes, the Thresher is tragic. A tragic, tragic, tragic loss. Uh, no, I don't. I don't want that. Yeah, keep coming this way. Very tragic. I, 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 I would not want to be on a boat knowing that Crush Depth is coming short shortly. <clears throat> no, you may not nuke the cot the channel, Kyle. I think they said that the permit ended up having implosion at like around 2200 feet or something yeah Kilo would be interesting to play it's always fun to play as diesel electrics um there is a there is a mod to play as soviet boats if none of you guys have seen it it's on subsim Yeah, the, 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 the prop technology of the Soviets is not something they couldn't inherently discover. It's just they're supporting, like, I guess, computational methods. And like you said, assembly methods weren't up to snuff. A lot of people like to say the Japanese gave the Soviets, like, a cool of props. But, I mean, the, the Soviets would have gotten it eventually. I guess it was just mitigated. Does anyone know what the hell this is? And that. There's one back here, too. I don't know what these are. These are the hatches. I don't know what these, like light colored things are is that helicopter still around it is i could abandon ship at 900 feet hello electro electrof raul 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 Yeah, the the Akula, the Akula, I think, was the one to get the nice prop. I don't think the Victor had it. The Victor three had the contra rotating propellers. Uh, yeah, Latroff, Rolf. I don't really use that my public Steam account anymore. I use my Discord. I want pizza. I want pizza. Damn it. I think the safe abandoned depth in this game is six hundred feet. Yeah. Yeah, classifying stuff isn't about keeping it, keeping it, you know, safe forever. It's just about delaying it. When's this aircraft gonna bugger off? Where is this dude? I don't even know where this aircraft is. There's no other aircraft. Okay. Well, we'll just keep steaming at this for a little bit. I guess we can just time lapse. Yeah, Kyle, it really is a good game. Um, I think waypoint control might be coming. Manual control is fun. There wouldn't be anything else to do in this game if you weren't manually steering the boat. I saw something interesting the other day talking about... Uh, it was from like the previous captain of the Thresher before this dive. He was saying that the Thresher captain would not say they would be having minor problems if there was flooding. Because that's what he was recorded as saying as they were going down was that they were having minor problems. So he thinks that there wasn't flooding. He thinks... Oh, what did, what did he think it was? It, he didn't think it was flooding that caused the short circuit that caused the reactor scram. Oh, I just read it. I don't remember, but he thinks there wasn't minor flooding because he don't he doesn't think the captain would have said a minor problem if there was flooding. Uh, diesel electrics are much quieter at low speeds than nuclear boats, but nuclear boats are quieter at top, at uh, at flank speeds. No, the captain. He was on the. He was on the on the the, the communications with the, the the boat above, and he said they were experiencing minor problems. And another threat. Another permit class captain was saying that he doesn't think he would say 
they were having minor problems if there was flooding on the boat because the the current theory i think is that there was flooding that caused a short circuit in a reactor scram oh i will be getting back into dangerous waters don't worry electrof rolf electrof raul excuse me <laughs> Okay, can we depart? We can leave. Sweet. I don't know what the exact sound levels are, but they're a lot quieter than nuke boats at low speed. Uh, I really have to look to see what that other guy said about it. I really have to look. It's really, like, bugging me now. Oh, it's really bugging me now. What does he think it was? Leave combat. Yeah, I know it's not my mission objective, biatch. <laughs> they ambushed my ass. Okay. Hey, we got a metal bronze star to Bart Mancuso. In the face of death. They keep giving me these medals when I say I'm in the face. I should have gotten a medal for the seal insertion. I wasn't in the face of death in this mission. It was a cakewalk. All right, pause that. I'm going to go for those subs, but I need to see... So I'm currently in my Steam community, but you guys cannot see that. So I'm going to search USS Thresher. I was searching for like USS Thresher wreckage photos, and I found something saying that about this guy saying he doesn't think it was flooding. I don't remember where. I guess I would have to go to Chrome here. I'm going to do this. Uh, this okay yeah you can't see that okay that's fine history let's see show all history I need to I need to look this up I need to find it it's bugging me I gotta find it dude it was yesterday when was it I guess it was sometime in the evening uh wait 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 in the morning wait 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 where's this where's all this stuff uh <clears throat> Oh, it's not showing up in my history. What's going on? I was looking at this. Was it? Oh, maybe it was two nights ago. Shit. I don't remember where this was. God damn it. No, that's too far. Okay, I'll look for that later. But ah, I need to find that. It's annoying me. Yeah, that's the exact line there, Roland. Oh, I think that is it, Fracker Frags. A lot hello, by the way. Yeah, I think that that was the guy who said that he doesn't think the captain would say minor problems if there was flooding, because flooding is not a minor problem, no matter how small. All right, let's uh, go for this dude. Oh, you want you want to scrub, bruh? Let's do it. I need to go to the bathroom first. <laughs> uh, why is FPS Chairsley becoming a thing? Why is that becoming a thing? <laughs> Hello, Sawyer. 10 kill yards? Hell no, I didn't, I'm not doing that. Let's see, status report. Status report, Mr. Squidward. <laughs> Why Mr. Squidward? That sounds like a thing that should be said. Status report, Mr. Squidward. We're going to close to 10 kiloyards, 20 kiloyards. Oh, the damn toad array. I mean, I guess I, I'm going 10 knots. I wasn't stationary. I guess I could have been stationary. But we're going to do it here. I like having more room. I'm an engineer. I err on the side of caution. That's just who I am. Alrighty. Let us... Uh, let's turn. This is a very shallow layer. I do not expect them to be above it. Just because of, like, probability. There's all this other region they could be in. So let's kind of swing. See if we can't pick them up. 
But if I'm not seeing them here, then maybe they are above the layer. But I wouldn't be above this layer. This is a very shallow layer. Hmm. Swing, you bastard. Swing. Alrighty. Do they spawn you, like, right in the middle of this map? Is that how it goes? Does anyone know what the size of this map is? Vodka for my stream, very well. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. They might be above the layer. Let's, uh, let's come up there. These crazy bastards might be above the layer. They could be diesel electric snorkeling, potentially, or something. Sawyer? 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 Do you think I could engine... Oh, slow down. I could engineer a pulse jet. What's a pulse jet? That sounds... F oh, hello. Whoa! What? 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 I don't know if that range is accurate. <laughs> Alright, classification time. I gotta ignore the chat for a little bit. Gotta classify. Oh, we're so close. Oh, so close. November. Okay, easy peasy. Japanese. And Sierra 2. Vic... Mm, that fifth frequency is in line. Victor 2. Victor 2. So we got a November and a Victor 2. And they're rather close. And they're above the layer, like a, like a freaking son of a fudge. Oh, dude, have you guys seen this freaking guy who makes pulse jets for, like, motorcycles? It's freaking nuts looking. I think they're all Mythbusters. It's so loud. I have not been to Russia. I want to go. I studied Russian back in the day. I would like to go at some point. November is the first Russian su Russian nuclear submarine. I would think Sonic the Hedgehog that the, that the naval architects designed for the worst sea state for a snorkel. Because those snorkels are designed so that even if they go underwater, they won't, like suck in water too much before it comes back out again. This guy is... Look at this punk. He's freaking skirting the layer right there. Alright, well, let's see what their signature is to hear me. That Victor is much more likely to hear me right now. We're pretty close aboard to these dudes. What? <laughs> that can't be right. Well, the solution's very low, so I'm hoping that's not right. Uh, November. Okay. Might come back. I guess I should turn the other way so I don't lose them on the toad. <clears throat> the November is not the best looking, but it's better looking than a Juliet, that is for sure. Shoot to confirm. So this is the first time I've gone against like a Victor. I've seen an Alpha, but I never fought it because I was coming off a Spec Ops mission. I did not think it would be safe to fight it. He seems to have been just gone beneath a layer. Maybe I should turn south and kind of straddle these dudes. Let's do that. Let's turn south here. Give me right full, right ah. Ninety percent counting tower. <laughs> Thank you, Electroff Raul. That's nice to hear. The Jimmy Carter is so long, though. The Seawolf has nice proportions. <clears throat> I want the weapon range set to zero now. But, Captain, we are too close to torpedoes armed and tubes. Do it now. The Granite Missiles? Isn't that the Oscar? Or does that carry shipwrecks? 
I think, no, the Oscar 2 carries granite, does it not? Con Sonar Victor 2 is cavitating. Well, frickin' firm up that solution, dude, if he's cavitating. Okay, that November solution's firming up, but this Victor 2, we are frickin' close to this dude. I don't wanna get, I wanna keep this kinda side reel angle so I can just immediately start running and evading. Where's that November at? He's kinda skirting the layer as well. Oh, wait, that does not look like, if that's the fourth frequency, this is not a Victor 2. What is this then? This is not a Victor 2. That fourth frequency does not look right. I'm in surface ships, keep going back to subs. Ugh, that fourth frequency doesn't look right though. The fifth is right for Victor 2, but that fourth frequency seems to be right here. Sierra. Damn, Sierra. Okay. Sierra. Well, that's that's a different story. Okay, this is going to be interesting.